So we are at the Unreal Build event in Munich 2018, a fantastic event. Freiman, right in the heart of North Munich. This is where BMW is based, this is where a lot of manufacturing is based. This event is all about us demonstrating our dominance of the automotive space. Every major manufacturer, if they're serious about real time, have Unreal Engine projects. This is the place where you meet all experts interested in state-of-the-art visualization technology. The highlight was, uh, of course, the ray tracing demo and the possibility to have ray tracing in Unreal Engine, I mean, it was the next big thing. I'm not a digital native, but I sat through the technical demonstration this morning and it just blew my mind. It was impressive because it was relevant to the future of my business. It's brought four years of work and research all to a head, and then almost someone just said, this is the engine that's gonna make all of the complexity that you've been worried about for four years. Suddenly, someone's just given me a gift. What is pretty cool about Unreal that you're building a platform and you're bringing out together all of these different OEMs, so all of these different car manufacturers, and they work together and they like to share it. And I think that's a pretty cool thing, especially because the whole thing is open source, everybody can contribute to it. It's been a long time coming, but we're so pleased to publicly be able to announce that Audi is their third generation um, Audi visualizer has come to Unreal Engine. What is stunning about this, and just bear in mind this, what the RB did, so Audi Business Innovation, is that they can convert a whole car line with all its variations within 17 minutes. 17 minutes. Also very excited today to bring the mini manufacturing story to the attendees here at Build Munich 18. We've started to reconstruct every single process uh, uh, in assembly. So you can actually watch the car from the beginning to the very end. Usually the effort involved in this is just far too it's just far too difficult and far too time consuming. But all of this here is done using blueprints. And um, it took us just three days the first time we tried it. And the reason we use blueprints is anyone you know, can, uh, can take that and they can start to, to, to manipulate it. It was amazing. It was such, I mean, I was here last year for Build Munich. It was a fascinating event. It was amazing. Uh, it's much bigger this year, so it was just fantastic to present. Some people are focused on quality, more people are focused on kind of autonomy and stuff like that. So it's been really great to see different kind of aspects of UE4 being used here. It really begs the question, what will Build Munich 19 look like? We continue to double in size, we continue to have amazing stories. I imagine everyone is going to be rocking some ray tracing. I'm very, very interested to see what brands bring to the table. Unreal Engine is lucky to have those grassroots projects, those individual champions, whether it's Ross at Mini, whether it's Thomas Utrigal and Thomas Orange at Audi, whether it's individual people working right now on projects that they're going to show to us next year, and creating those lighthouse stories that really capture the imagination of the automotive industry. You know, I think we will see again a great leap ahead in terms of visual quality. So what you've seen today is RTX uh, with Atron, with Porsche, and I think this will be a very nice call for a lot of progress, a lot of innovation within the next 12 months. I'm completely sure.